Good morning. It's uh, 7.48 a.m. I woke up about 20 minutes ago on the couch. I don't know how this happened. I was up late last night editing a video and all I remember is coming out and saying to Dan, I'm just going to quickly stretch out my back because I've been sitting at the computer too long and my shoulders hurt. And I lay down on this couch and um, I've just woken up. I haven't slept in my makeup in a very long time. So I was thinking I'll go upstairs, do my morning skincare and get a start on the day. Typically my morning routine consists of pulling out my phone and using it for about half an hour until I'm properly awake. And I always check the comments from my previous video. And this morning I stumbled across a very nice comment that told me with my new hair I look like none other than Dita Von Teis. Now that comment inspired me to want to search for a Dita Von Teese hair tutorial because you know she's got that iconic hair that she sweeps off to one side and it's kind of glossy and got these big beautiful curls it's a 50s hairstyle so I'm lying here looking up Dita Von Teese hair tutorial and I come across an interview that she did with Vogue about her morning routine so wanting to try out her hairstyle and also wanting to go and remove my makeup I thought what if I turn on the camera and you guys come along with me as I try to follow Dita Von Teese's morning routine <laughs> and we can compare it to my own. <laughs> so the first question Vogue asks Dita is, what is the very first thing that you do when you wake up? And she says, drink a large glass of water, preferably with fresh lemon. Now I would also typically drink a large glass of water with my medication in the morning, but the lemon thing, I haven't tried that. Look. How convenient, I slept next to the kitchen. Dita doesn't specify how large her glass of lemon water is, so I'm just gonna use Daniel's Stein. I am lemonless today. As much as I'm tempted to be a lemon stealing whore and grab one from my neighbor's tree, I'm just gonna use this. Now I ask her, oh. Oh. early bird or night owl? She says it depends. I'm an early bird normally. What time do you like to get up in the morning? I like to have seven to nine hours of sleep. Wow, what's that like? For the past year, my sleep routine has essentially been go to sleep at 4 a.m. and wake up at seven. Could possibly be why I always look so unwell. Do you press the snooze button or jump right up? I sometimes hit snooze when I don't have to be anywhere, but I'm up quickly and easily when my alarm goes off. That must be nice. I'm a very light sleeper. I wake up to quiet harp sounds or little bells. I can't stand traditional wake up calls or alarms. So to be more like Dita, I need to change my alarm from the bird is also part of my alarm. Maybe instead I should use. <laughs> they ask her, what is your morning beauty regime? And she says, drinking water, taking vitamins, washing my face and moisturizing. Obviously, brushing teeth comes before everything though. Well, I better finish this lemon water and... I never knew there was such a thing as bougie toothpaste, but my friend Lucy recently came down from Brisbane and was staying with me, and she pulled out a fancy purple tube that I thought may have been hand cream. It just looked like vintage hand cream, but no, no, that was her toothpaste. So. I decided I'm going to get bougie toothpaste and I found this. This is called Gem and it says Gem is the natural toothpaste that actually works. But this flavour is coconut mint. Oh, it's pink. Oh, 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 that's an unusual sensation. My mouth feels numb. My mouth feels really numb. That's odd. Oh, hang on. It tastes like I've just drunk a pina colada and I drank it while I was chewing gum. Gone. In Dita's book, she says, take care of your bosom like you would your face. If it's good enough for the face, it's good enough for my decolletage. 
Tending to your chest should be as much of your morning and nightly routine as brushing your teeth. Lather up the face, then keep working those circular motions south and east and west across this equally delicate part of the body. You know, for some reason, I can't imagine Dita Von Teese trying to wash her lovely bosom in a tiny little sink. I feel like this would be far better done in the shower. Dita then says to apply fragrance where you want to be kissed. My mouth? She says she starts at the wrists and dabs from there to the nape of the neck, behind the ear, base of the spine, and behind the knees. <coughs> the inner thighs and ankles, and she mists her hairbrush to freshen up her do. So apparently Dita swears by a twice weekly hair mask with a cream or oil based leave-in conditioning mask. She says for deeper penetration applied generously, cover with a shower cap and hit it with a blow dryer. Apparently the heat opens up the cuticle allowing the formula to really hydrate the hair shaft. Well, I'm happy to take Dita's word on that because her hair is glossier than a Krispy Kreme donut. Well, now that I'm done, Dita actually has a tutorial on YouTube showing how she does easy hair DIY. I'm gonna follow it. asks, when it comes to deciding what to wear in the morning, do you plan ahead? She says, on a casual day, I usually go out and about in ballet flats and a dress. I love dresses because I can zip and go, no fussing around, putting a look together. Should have gotten changed before I did my hair. Shh. Oh, shh. Oh. Dita then starts her day with a green smoothie, which is 70% green and 30% fruit. Two cups of very cold filtered water seven cups of spinach or kale, chopped, six cups of chopped romaine lettuce, one and a half cups chopped celery, one apple, one pear, one banana, and two tablespoons of fresh organic lemon juice. Right, so to get that many cups of kale and lettuce, that is literally my entire harvest. So I guess I can drink this smoothie once. Would you like some kale, Sabine? Oh, hi, Kylo. Do you want kale? I swear it's not as bad as it looks. They just go like that when they're in the freezer. Good morning. How are you? Good. Since you saw me last, cleaning up our bedroom. And all your clothes are sorted, clean, uh, on the bed. Thank you. You're so wonderful. All the dirty things are in the wash now. Thank you. It's ready. So, moment of truth. Not really sure how this is going to taste. I think I picked all the caterpillars out, uh, hopefully. It smells very organic. Oh, how's that? Perfectly fills my two thrifted wine glasses. Dan, will you come and enjoy something healthy with me? So I get to know what's in it first? No. Ooh, look at this. All right. What do you think it is? Hopefully not more caterpillars. Uh, I think it's kale. It smells like a lot of kale. Like a lot, a lot of kale. Like, is it just kale? Apple. 
Yeah. Very good guess. It also has pear. Pear, okay, that's and it. And lettuce. Ah, explains the grass taste. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Dita has been drinking this for three to four years. Wow. She also has a hot tea or a hot water with lemon and ginger in the morning. And then she does a workout. Oh dear. God damn it. So apparently Dee Dee used to do Pilates for 15 years, but she said that she was having issues with her hip and she decided to try something new and she started to go to CrossFit. She's been doing it for a year and a half. It's really changed her life. She says, I work out a lot less and I get the same effects. I only have to go for 30 minutes a day and I do it three to four times a week and it's great. Better get changed out of the dress and into something appropriate. Apparently Dita's workout uniform is black capri pants with a fitted black or white t-shirt. I actually thrifted a bunch of workout pants, which I'm really excited about. I thrifted all of these. So I got this Nike matching set, these black milk leggings that have pros on them, Puma dry cell leggings, Gymshark leggings, these ones by the brand The Upside. I don't know that brand. These black ones from Nike. I got a bunch of other workout gear too, but I'm gonna make a video specifically about it, like comparing all the different brands of leggings and seeing which ones are best. So apparently Dita puts on a swipe of red lipstick and some powder before she does her workout. Here goes, I'm gonna use Max Ruby Woo because when I Googled what red lipstick does Dita Von Teese wear, this is one of the results. All right, CrossFit, warm up, jumping jack. Well, I'm gonna try and quickly do my makeup a bit like Dita's. And my morning is complete. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the hair up in the chignon, so I'm gonna take it down. All right, well, that's a bit better. I think I like it a lot more now that it's down. I would really like to try and follow some 1940s, 1950s hairstyle tutorials. So if you guys know any good ones, please leave them in the comments down below. All right, guys, well, that's it. That's everything. I hope you liked today's video. I had a lot of fun following the Dita Von Teese morning routine. I actually quite like my hair and I quite like my makeup too. It's a little bit different, it's a bit of fun. So if you would like to see some more vintage style content, please leave a comment down below and don't forget to give me a thumbs up on this video. I have a beautiful assortment of vintage dresses that I've been thrifting over the past month that I'm really excited to show you guys. So subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications so you know when I upload that video. So with that, Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! Time to finish my tea.